Batman Arkham Knight was published in 2015 and the game is pretty old now it's already nine years past that game is published I just want you to know that all I'm saying right now in this video is going to be based on today's graphic standards if the game was to be published today I would definitely accept the graphics is that good so let's start the game is made with Unreal Engine 3 at the time Unreal Engine 4 was widely available and it was free to use by everyone but Unreal Engine 3 is the older version and it doesn't have a lot of the effects a lot of the shadow quality that Unreal Engine 4 had Unreal Engine 4 was just great the first thing that you can easily see in the game is the level of detail of everything. There are a lot of meshes, a lot of details everywhere and all the meshes, all the bridges, all the buildings, uh, all the details you can see in this screen, they have too many details inside them as well. All the material details, all the uh, soft edges, all the details inside the meshes, all the vehicles all the thugs running around in the street they all have a lot of insane amount of details right now if you were to create a game with this amount of details in 2024 it would be really really difficult to optimize it even for next generation consoles and pcs a lot of people would be complaining about bad optimization bad performance and you would have to go through hell to fix all that issues but in 2015 the Batman Arkham Knight had solved everything the performance was really good at consoles I know there were a lot of problems in PC but believe me even in PC even with the bad optimization that everyone's talking about achieving such a good quality was not something that everyone could do this is just insane level of graphics level of details on everything Material work and shader quality is just top-notch. The again level of details in every material uh, From the Batman itself from all the thugs from the streets from the asphalt From every paint on the walls on the buildings from the shader quality in the rain from the Shader that's making you feel like the rains raining on everything on Batman itself on his face on his shoulder on a lot of other meshes in the world it's just insane the shader quality is really good the shader work they have done such an amazing job they have created a lot of shaders that they could easily use even today the, these shaders are like the best shaders i've ever seen if i were to create a rain shader if i were to create a wet surface that's there is rain on it i would definitely definitely get inspired by batman arkham knight the games published in 2015 if i were to create something in 2024 i would target batman arkham knight i believe there will be nothing better than this game in shader quality it's that good the game's happening in gotham and the quality again level of detail in everything the art direction the designing of everything is just so good they went for an insane amount of level of detail and shader quality that no one can really really achieve such a quality even their next game gotham knights is just awful if you pay attention to the level of details the main problem that gotham knight has is that it lacks the level of detail all the batman games had and it's just something no one could achieve such a greatness they achieved in Batman Arkham Knight. One of the very famous things that happened in Batman Arkham Knight is the ocean water. It's called Gerstner water, it's just a mathematically correct water that wasn't there before Batman Arkham Knight. I believe the first game that I've seen it happen was Batman Arkham Knight and then games tried to achieve such a great quality. No one could, of course, even today you can't really see such a high quality water in most of the games i mean some games that are about water and they have a lot of great shaders a lot of vfx going around there are a lot of interactive gpu based floating effects and ocean shaders they are great i know but what you see here in batman arkham knight is about a game that's not about water that's not about ocean the character can't even enter the water can't even interact with the water and 
it's just someone in the VFX team just felt that okay why not we have mathematically correct water that's something that looks real and looks kind of I mean great you can't really have something better than this and let me tell you that implementing this technique in water it just takes time it's not easy it is just a lot of programming a lot of you need to have a lot of shader knowledge it's, it's not easy to achieve such a quality with a lot of effects on it a lot of I mean you get the idea the one is just perfect next up is interactive fog and smoke this is definitely the first game that introduced such an effect this effect is not fake even today in 2024 we can't achieve this let me tell you that straightforward no one can achieve this in 2024 the what they achieved in 2015 is not possible in 2024 of, of course if you want to do that it's possible but it's not logical to do so because it just ruins all the optimization work you've done for your game instead everyone would just fake everything and all the effects will be just particle systems uh, sprite based particle systems where you have sprites all over the world and sprites are always facing the camera and they are all transparent or uh, masked materials it's just the cheapest way to do it having something like this that is interactive that is actually a volumetric 3d smoke and fog it's just insane to believe that this happened in 2015 i remember i saw it and i was like oh yeah the game development is going forward definitely but now today i'm like how the hell did they achieve something so great and no one's even talking about it i mean everyone should be talking about it how they did achieve something like this in 2015 we should be achieving this every day nine years later but no one's doing something like this. it's about it's so hard to achieve such a quality with such great performance i know i know again the performance wasn't good at pc but believe me when you have such effects when you have such quality on pc as far as i remember these effects were a pc only and believe me there's a reason for it this effect is not meant to be used in games it's the highest level of cinematic that rocksteady just casually used it in games um, so if you can play the game with the effects right now with the smoke effects believe me this is one of the few games that you can experience such a thing in that i'm going to talk about rain particles and rain shaders a little bit more because this is pretty important this is what separates the batman arkham knight with definitely other games normally there are a lot of games like gotham uh, knights that is using rain particles rain shaders and even today there are great examples of ra great rain effects but something about batman arkham knight was just so good the rain was pretty random i mean of course the rain is not real it's just an effect just a random effect that will make you feel like it's just an illusion for you to believe that it's, uh, it's raining and if there's a building somewhere or if it's some there's something that's stopping the rain from coming over to you it is stopping it but it's just fake i mean the the most complicated thing they could have done is that if there is a roof above your head then the rain wouldn't come to you it's just the most complicated thing they could have achieved but other than that some sometimes the rains uh more heavy sometimes the rains less intense and that's that's just because the rain is random other than that all the uh if you pay attention to the surface all the surface is wet if it's raining if you are inside the surface isn't wet and the shader work is completely different and there are water puddles in 2015 where a lot of games where they had water puddles they wouldn't have achieved something like this it's just i mean it's just too much work for some, something like this and right now the games are taking five six seven years to make back then in 2015 all the games were like being worked for two years sometimes a year 
and in, in a year of development you can't really achieve something like the wet puddles that rains pouring around them inside them you you couldn't have achieved something like this something so high quality in just a year or two so this is something that probably Rocksteady had been working on for a very long time before the release of the game before even starting the game and they had a really good R&D going on and a, definitely a really good management team going on that could manage all the effects, all the shaders and they could easily find and use all the effects they needed and give you the best example of rain particles and rain shaders in the in industry. It's that good. It's the best rain particle and shader in the industry. That's it. I want to talk about fighting VFX and all the effects that are happening inside the fighting scenes a little bit more because it just shows how good the art direction of the game is. As I told you, I believe that the management in the project was really good. I mean, it's just normal that the management sucks, that the employees are under a lot of pressures, that the mistake is happening inside the management team, but the employees are just paying for those mistakes. I think that wasn't the case in Rocksteady's team. The management was really good, art direction was really good, and I can easily see it in every VFX that they have fixed. All the stars that are just <laughs> around the head of the thugs, all the uh, sparks that are flying, all the great VFX that shows the impact of the punches. They just there at the right time with the greatest art direction it's not about quality right now it's about art it's just cartoonish which it needs to be to be honest to show the impact but the thing is it just it's there at the right time at with the best quality and to summarize everything batman arkham knight was a graphically great masterpiece it was a masterpiece in every way but graphically the game was just generations ahead of its generation the game's built with Unreal Engine 3 we now have Unreal Engine 5 a lot of new effects a lot of new optimization techniques but let me promise you that no one no no small team can achieve something like this they have to they need a really really big R&D team they really need to know what they're doing so they could achieve such a great quality that Batman Arkham Knight had achieved in 2015.